Hello and welcome to another Smurd P video and today we are looking at Deadpool and X-Force Omnibus. Now with Deadpool 2 coming out next year with Cable and New Mutants as well in the movie world it's not quite surprising that we have this. So nice color to begin with Deadpool and Siren and then the X-Force team Cable, Cannonball, Boom Boom and Sunspot. Let's move on to the side and the usual Marvel Omnibus branding Deadpool and X Force and the writers. And that is actually quite a cool picture. Um, I think this is an original. I don't know where Deadpool's come from in this, to be honest, but hey, he deserves to be there. It's his book as well. So, on to the back the Mercury Mouth and the Mutants on a Mission. So these are the covers, got some cable in there, Deadpool, X-Force, X-Force, Cable, Nomad, Cable, which is cool, X-Force, that's quite cool, and these are the volumes we get in there, so we get a section of X-Force, we get a good chunk of cable, and the section from Deadpool which is cool uh, there is a Deadpool classics uh, omnibus which came out I think it was January this year if I remember correctly or was it January last year time seems to be flying away from me but there is a classics omnibus out there um, if you just are interested in Deadpool but X-Force Cable and Deadpool do have um, quite a history together crossing over into each other's worlds so this book does kind of make sense now, the only thing that I'm annoyed is that the X-Force, I was hoping, carries on straight from Volume 1, but it doesn't. It starts at 19, which is there, whereas um, the first volume finishes um, at 15. So, I uh, don't know if something happens in between. I'm just going to quickly check. And there we go. I thought this was the case. You had the crossover in between, which is X-Force 16 to 18. So this does carry on pretty much straight after volume one and executioner's song which is pretty awesome so i'm gonna stop griping now and move so along inside the dust cover we get a nice kind of intro which is cool i think i'm saying cool a bit too much uh i think i said in the first time i did volume one of X-Force that I'm not too familiar with X-Force. It's one thing in the X-Men world that I've not actually read. So I'm really looking forward to reading this in the near future. So you got some nice little background art there. Same page, same picture from the front. Uh, similar there. So if you don't like the dust cover, you could have it like this, which is, um, you know, really nice. And then that, that's a beautiful, you know, I love this picture. And once again, you got that up there. And you got that down there, which is awesome. And this is the same picture on the outside. And then we've got all the writers, pencilers, inkers, colorists, letterers, assistant editors, etc., etc., and all that fun stuff. Some was stuff down there, which is pre, pre non-interesting to me anyway domino deadpool and then we've got the contents which is um i like this sort of stuff i wish it no it does have the date i'm just not looking probably and it is in chronological order which is what you expect so yeah it looks like a quite a nice run and i hope even though it's got Deadpool in it, I'm happy with that as long as we're getting X-Force coming out, which is what I want. So, you know, if we get a few issues of Deadpool mixed in with X-Force, New Warriors, whatever, you know, just as long as the X-Force keeps coming out, I'm happy with that. Uh, just in terms of spine, it feels quite, um, it feels actually quite um, tough. So just be careful when you're um, opening the pages, you're not just yanking them to one side, etc. Because you could damage it. 
but um, these are usually quite sturdy anyway so with you know I expect them to last for endless amounts of time so you know but still you know it's an expensive book you want to be careful and there we can see the spine a bit better so quite sturdy and here is what the artwork in the 90s looked like and um, Deadpool classics I really like the classic stuff probably a bit more than now I feel like like Wolverine he's probably a bit overused nowadays in everything which I you know you can kill a character by doing that um, you know that's just my opinion anyway that's why I started to dislike Wolverine because he was in everything you know it's cool when he was first in the Avengers but then it got old real real quick and here's a quick snippet off cable cable and action it's pretty cool I really enjoyed how sinister was drawn in the 90s um, I think the artists lost their way with him especially when they started dressing him up as a, an English gentleman I guess but, um, you know, this this is when I really enjoyed artwork. Clearly, I've not read this and I've just touched, you know, well, he's not real. I'm not touching his crutch, but, you know, uh, <laughs> this is when artwork, I think, for me, I think I enjoyed it a lot better. And we just pick a random X-Force uh, couple of pages to look at. So this is the kind of artwork inside. And it's a round... Black Tom and his relationship. Teresa Cassidy. So if I remember correctly, Black Tom raised her. But I'm um, sure Cassidy is her dad. And I think he did it out of some sort of weird, kind of twisted revenge thing. It was a bit bizarre. But I don't know that much about it. So I can't really comment on it. I just kind of got a gist of what happened. And we kind of finish up with Deadpool and Juggernaut charging through. And it looks like he's on fire. So I'm looking. And I know he clearly is on fire. I'm looking forward to um, reading how that, that pans out. In terms of extras, we get a, a spill on cable. X-Force. And we get some fun stuff going on here. Some concept art. A little bit of cover art. And pretty much that is it. So let's do a quick comparison with volume one. Okay, so just in terms of how many issues uh, in each volume. So volume two has 34 in this I've not counted correctly. And volume one has 28. And here is what you get in volume one in case you missed out on that first review that I did. There we go. Let's put them side by side. Uh, I would say the only thing that bugs me about them now being side by side on the shelf is we've got this, which clearly says volume one, and well, this just changes up. So I don't know whether they're intending just to have uh, X Force volume two specifically only for that, but they could have called this volume two. But clearly, you know, the name Deadpool sells at the moment. Which, you know, I understand it. It's, it's a marketing tool. So, but, you know, I'm not going to gripe about that. Okay, I griped, I think. But, you know, it's what it and is. And there they are together. And that looks pretty awesome. This still looks awesome. And, you know, they look nice next to each other, I think. So these volumes are clearly smaller. They're not as packed as some of the bigger ones, like the Spider-Man one, for example. But you've still got um, a nice, what, 20 to 30 issues in them. So they are a nice size. I got this in the UK. It was about 40, 47 pounds, which is, you know, a reasonable price for the amount you get in there. You know, you're pretty much getting like four, four graphic novels in one hit. So, you know, I think it's worth it. So, but yeah, they're smaller. Um, I would like to see, you know, at least once one, one come out a year, I guess, I think... You know that that would be appreciated instead of waiting for long periods. I mean, we got quite lucky this last 
came out one last year and one this year. So I'm hoping Ben Riley follows it. So, you know, I'd like to then continue this kind of methodology. So, and I guess why Deadpool's still pretty hot, I guess that probably will happen. Well, fingers crossed, eh? So, all in all, a fantastic addition to anyone's collection, whether you be a Deadpool fanatic or Cable or X-Force. This is um, a great, great volume omnibus to pick up. So, thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my page on Facebook. Have a good night. Have a good day. Take care. Embrace the geekiness.